Small but strong, the center of banking business, Singapore. Here we introduce you a festival that shook up Singapore, K-Pop World Festival. The story of the day full of K-Pop passion begins now. The first step to making dreams come true. We heard many skilled participants join the event. Amongst them, there's a group that seems young in particular. We chase the familiar music. They are the youngest team out of all that can dance to G-Friend's song with no problem. The Illusion members mix K-pop with Latin dance. Covered K pop, and then we were like, Oh, this is interesting. And then we decided to learn. And then, we've, since we learned Latin, right, so we decided to fuse it with K pop to make like to make it more interesting. Uh. Uh, there are not like many people in Singapore who actually like fuse uh, K pop with Latin, so I, I thought that that would like um, make our like, performance more unique. Their average age is 14.5, and they say K pop has a special meaning to them. My life is usually like um, after school, then like, I'll just go home to lunch and um, study. <laughs> so it's like very quite um, boring. So after like I, I think um, we have like more practice with each other, my my like day just becomes like more fruitful and enjoyable. <laughs> Singapore is much more beautiful at night than day. At a late time, someone is playing the piano. A good-looking man is singing K-pop with great accuracy. Wow, he speaks Korean. <laughs> Akif says he always practices Korean because he wants to sing K pop very well. <laughs> Why does he like K-pop so much? When I was very young, I, I noticed in the song, the ballads, like, Dongbang Shinki, Fly to the Sky. In the song, the ballads are very, very nice. Because I want to learn how to dance. I don't want to sing alone without being able to move around. So I wanted to learn dance. Then I found out K-pop can also sing and dance together. So that's, that makes me like, oh, I should learn K-pop because already it's already there for me. I'm amazed by not only his vocal skills, but his dance moves, too. He says there's something he wants to show everyone. These are my trophies. So, um, from the competitions that I won in Singapore, most of them are K-pop competitions. There's a special person in Akif's life that helped him win all those K-pop trophies. <laughs> It's his mother who used to be a vocal trainer. She always uh, tried to uh, teach me how to sing to be better. Mm. No, a lot. Then when if I do wrongly, she be no, no, she would scold me. <laughs> his mother says she's very proud of his son and his love for K-pop. K-pop is uh, now everybody like, right? Of course. He also likes mm. that I will support him. Yeah. She also likes K-pop, so I yeah, think... I, I think oh, it's like she likes... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she <laughs> It's finally the day of the Singapore preliminary rounds for 2017 K-pop World Festival. The waiting room is busy with participants doing their final practice. This participant makes sure all moves are correct. Wow, it's just like Ken from Vix. I feel it's a, it's, a, it's a style, it's a fashion trend. 
and package the whole concept to put on stage and a performance. And I feel that is something that's very um, special and I really really like and so I feel that we can learn from there. Illusion! We wish everyone the very best. 30 minutes before the competition. The audience seems to be looking at someone. It's Lee Jung Shin from the original K-Wave band CM Blue. He'll be the special judge for today. <laughs> The atmosphere heats up even more with Lee Jung Shin's appearance and the preliminary rounds finally begin. First up is HIM who not only has perfect dance moves but great costumes and props. They show a performance just like Vix and not only the fans but the judges also seems to be in love. Next up is Sense, the six girls who show great charisma. From synchronized dance moves to attractive facial expressions, their efforts shine on stage more than ever. Everyone puts on a smile looking at Illusion's adorable performance. Akif seems to be nervous right before his stage. But he changes completely the moment the music begins. From powerful dance moves to steady vocal skills. Will he win his ticket to Korea? Sixteen teams shined more than ever today, but who will be the ultimate winner? The winner is just about to be announced. Akiv and his friends bow to the audience. I'm sure this moment will help them move forward towards the next dream of K-pop. We just wanted to work hard and push ourselves. This is a blessing, really a blessing. A wonderful culture of the Koreans to our family. We've seen our Singapore youth perform to their utmost, and I'm sure the winners will bring the best of Singapore to Korea. Everyone who sweat off their passion for their dreams is the winner of K-pop.